Soyjuro has only done 8kc on his hardcore, but you're about to see the best drop you've ever seen. Please, dear Vernick, please. Oh my god! I got the pet! I got the pet too! I got the pet! Oh my f it is a thing of beauty. The man only wanted an Avernic, but he's only gone and done it, pulling the best item, the scythe, with the beautiful pet. How crazy is that? G'day, legends. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Keep up the likes, and if you're not subscribed, consider joining the family. Let's get back to it. Wrong answer. Wrong and what do you you this is you okay I've seen some people asking what is red X okay so red X red X see how I have I have a red click and a yellow click okay these are different from each other when you move by using a red click under an NPC it can't move it can't move from under you the reason that's important is that it enables all of the God Wars dungeon methods so like Tebow's Ami uh Bofa Bandos uh you know what I'm saying. That's zero damage, Baba. Just setting it up is going to do some damage, and that's it. Jagex did their weekly update, but they didn't expect that something that they changed in the code was going to unintentionally get rid of the red click that a lot of people use for so many bosses. It's practically part of the game. I'm actually astonished. I can't, I cannot, I actually, this has to be a joke. You can see no monkeys testing it out straight after the update. Everyone was super confused. Jagex didn't announce it. People just started finding out that you couldn't do a lot of the normal methods in the game. And originally, Mod Kieran put out that that was never an intended thing. People just sort of found it in the game. And he was wondering whether they're going to reintroduce it or just leave it fixed how it is now, which would kind of completely change the game. But I guess Jagex got a little bit worried when the cannon started to come out at the good old Falador. And they quickly put out a tweet saying that they are going to be reverting it back to how it used to be and then the runescape crowd rejoiced there was a lot of happy gamers that it's not going to be changing their beloved runescape methods pure spam wanted to get some pks in style so he's buying the white dark bow paint but he's a little surprised by the price one mil to color my freaking dark bow. That is not worth it. I'm going to lose it in like sub fight minus 10 seconds. Well, do you think the man is correct or will he get an epic PK with it in the exact same clip? He runs out and straight away finds someone to fight. Items for no reason. We'll fight this guy again. He does safe a lot, but now we've got the colored dark bow. Bruh. Bro. Bro. <laughs> I'm not buying it back. I'm just saying I'm not buying it back. And there it is, the quickest one mil gone down the drain you'll ever see. Optimus Luke is living up to his name here, talking about the chance of getting the farming pet. Cactuses are the best chance. Second best chance. Collection log slot. No way it actually Completed. happened! No way it actually happened! It finally happened! After going almost 19 million farming experience dry, the man was literally talking about the chance of a pet and pulled it a nice addition to his account. Rig is rocking his beautiful new blowpipe. Let's see what his next upgrade is. No. Oh, yes! Two out of three ticked off the list at 314 KC. And if you want to see something even rarer than that, well, let's switch over to Lal, who's also on a hardcore doing some Zolra. She wants to die. No way, I just got the mutagen. The hell? Okay. Okay. The man certainly didn't think to get that at just over 300k. See, here's his log. He just wants the blowpipe and it doesn't even matter because now he has pulled the beautiful mutagen, even if it is the second best one. What? Well, it seems after receiving that purple foe is back on another dry streak, but he was a bit weirded out by what this guy said to him at the bank. I need my butt filled like a jelly donut. Some people are getting super hyped for the quest speed runs, but apparently skill specs isn't too keen. 
You gonna do some quest speedrunning tomorrow, skill specs? I'd rather drag my b**** through hot honey, fella. And I have about the same view on doing quests as Mr. Skill Specs. They're bad enough to do once, let alone try and do them super fast. But I should state there is a side of the community that absolutely loves them, and a lot of really, really popular games do need speedruns, because it generally is a very hype competitive game mode. Fo put out a tweet saying, have a look at the worlds already. They are popping off. This was straight after the update. Not too many people on the speed run worlds i kind of thought there'd at least be a few more just checking it out if you've been watching some the bon bon you'll know that she's gone extremely dry well let's see what she's just pulled <gasps> oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> what happened a very, very long time coming. That is 1,291 challenge mode, Casey. Probably taking her over a year, but finally she has the dust. Next up, noob type who has completed the highest possible ever TOA raid at level 770, which was actually only possible when Jagex made that little mistake where you could stack all the different indications on top of one another to make an absolutely epic raid where some of them did cancel each other out, but it still took a lot of skill. His YouTube video doing it all down below and showing all the methods and his solutions. It's all linked down below if you want to check it out but something that is not even possible to ever be seen again a level 770 raid doug already has four keys on him and he was doing a five key challenge all he needs to do is finish this one guy off and he'll go reap the rewards and the man gets the job done in style. And have a look at these five keys. Two of them are absolutely insane. 121 mil and 57. Look at all of that beautiful loot. This, du this dude's wearing normal void with an obby cape. Okay, I gotta get out of here. This is making me sick. <laughs> A cold one sending the 510 level raids and the man started to make some serious bank. That's fine. I've gotten valuable stuff recently. That's even better than a ring. The Osmumpton's Fang is the first item on my collection log to hit double digits. And that is a lot of fangs into the double digits. Shortly after that, he pulled a Missouri body, which he ended up selling for about 200 mil. But the man has max cash from all of these TOA items. And just a couple of KC after the original fang, the man pulled this. Night at this raid. I'm literally just a f printer. There it is. Two fangs and a body. This man was having a very good day. He pulled a lot of GP. Oh, ain't this that guy? He's playing it as hardcore with the suck helm. He's done. And he is that guy. Some people did think it was ignoble after looking at the RSN called Praise Foot, but I can confirm it was not him. But how cool to see a hardcore with the suck helm. Oh, but Casey did have something to say about what he was wearing. Where's his fan kit, though? Noob. If you don't drop a sub skill, it will haunt your dreams by doing this. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you, Legends, tomorrow.